Hello everyone, this is Chris Hume, and I'd like to invite you to another uh, conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experience. And in this conversation, I would like to talk with you a bit about Tantra. Uh, I have discussed Tantra before, but Tantra is such a huge subject that it's going to require a series of videos uh, uh, in order for that to be, to be um, discussed thoroughly. And we'll wait for the phone to stop ringing here, I think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tantra. Tantra is exploration of the left-hand path. Uh, it's also indicative of the exploration of the sacred feminine path. Uh, the sacred feminine path is, is that of the left side, which uh, in a kundalini context, the, the sacred feminine will come up the left side of the body and, and begin the infusion uh, through the bottoms of the feet that the left big toe turns different colors. And uh, you'll get a uh, phenomenon on the left side first, and then, of course, it'll bleed over into the right side, and then you won't be able to tell the difference which side it's coming as it'll be both at the same time. Tantra, as we understand it in the West, is, and I don't mean everybody in the West, I'm just using a generalized, uh, a generalized understanding in the West, is the use of the sexual natures to bring about an, an activation of the Kundalini, or an activation of the goddess Shakti. Uh, within a person. Uh, and this is very effective. This is extremely effective. Once again, this would be probably considered a rapid format activation. So if you are exploring this, and I know many of you are, many of you are, and you're just not going to say it. <laughs> uh, perfectly okay. But make sure that you're practicing the safety protocols at the same time that you're, you're practicing tantric techniques. I've been teaching tantra for about six years now. Uh, I have a Tantra site on, the, uh, uh, on, on Yahoo Groups, uh, Kundalini Awakening Systems 1-Tantra. And uh, if you do wish to sign up to that group, then I'll ask you to be a member of the Kundalini Awakening Systems 1 at yahoogroups.com uh, in order to, I want to know how you are. I don't want people coming on there that are just looking for dates or, you know, trying to advertise themselves as this great uh, tantrika, whatever, the, you know, I'm, it's not about dates, it's not about uh, uh, ego-based interactions. It is, however, about exploration of uh, some of the more taboo areas of the West with regards to sexual expression. Um, uh, seminal ejaculation control, uh, the the different there are different mudras that the uh, that well body positions that the kundalini will will place the the uh, reproductive genitalia into certain levels of reversing uh, pumps uh, for the man the the, 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 the semen will be pulled uh, from the testicles as a way of pumping it into the spine using it as a using the the, the reproductive fluids of the male as a way to, to infuse the rest of the body with the, transfer, the transformational creative energies that the Kundalini requires to change the body of a, on a physical level. Um, within the union of man and woman, uh, in a tantric context, uh, the man takes, up, takes upon himself the roles and responsibilities of the sacred male, the woman takes upon herself the roles and responsibilities of the sacred female. Uh, this, this, is, this is having sex with each other. This, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to, to try to lighten that at all. That, that is what it is. Okay, and and by teaching tantra, I've had to experience tantra, and I've experienced tantra, and I've experienced tantra within a tantric kundalini context, which is really all I know with regards to Tantra. It's always from a kundalini context with me. Uh, there, there are various positions that can be utilized, but more so it is that union, that union and the, and the gifting of, of, of the, and the mixing of the fluids, the mixing of the energies, the mixings of the love, the mixings of the grace, the mixings of the intent. And this will and can uh, 
give a person a rapid format activation. And once again, I'll remind you to be in a practice of the safety protocols. Uh, as, as this, this can be a very, very powerful awakening format. So I have done this. I have done this with, with people, um, and it has been effective. Uh, so if you are practicing this, and this is something that you want to do, I will advise you, uh, if you're a man, to withhold uh, ejaculation, unless you're doing this for appropriate purposes. Uh, for the women, uh, they don't have to. They don't have to. I mean, it's one of the blessings of being a woman is, is she can excrete as much as she wants. Well, with the man, too much of his health and too much of his vitality uh, in the unawakened state are wrapped up in the, in, the, in the reproductive fluids. And so this is why myself and many other teachers and many other systems and cultures uh, will suggest that the, that the male withhold the, uh, the spilling of the seed, so to speak. And, uh, and I do, I do, uh, you know, guide, guide individual males to, do, to not spill the seed. Um, when you reach a certain area of kundalini activity, the seed can't be spilled, but only for uh, activation sequences or activation uh, scenarios or procreative uh, scenarios. So just a little bit more on the Tantra. I will be doing more videos on Tantra later on. Um, I'm, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to end it right now. There's some more I want to say. Uh, by looking at a person deeply and intently, that is a form of energetic exchange. Okay, looking deeply into a person's eyes. This can be extremely powerful. Okay, and so I want you to know that it's not all about uh, the, the genital areas. It's not all about that at all. The touch, holding a hand, holding somebody's hand can be a form of Tantra. Uh, a kiss is a form of Tantra. A touch, a, uh, a touch and a glance, hearing a person's voice, somebody singing, that is a form of Tantra. Tantra is all about energetic exchange. Now, within the reproductive uh, sense, that, that deals with the divine embodiment of a human being uh, on this plane of existence. And that's, that's a good thing. That, that, you know, we're all examples of that. Um, but with regard to Kundalini, Tantra is an effective format, but not to the point where you're, you're rushing yourself uh, and, you're, and you're, you're, you're forcing the gates of heaven, heaven to open to your ego will. Do the personality purifications. Do the, practice the safeties for Kundalini activation. Uh, this is uh, at... Uh, Kundalini Awakening Systems, the number one dot com. Go to the left hand margin and you'll see the safeties button there. Click on that and print out at least three copies of those safety protocols. Put one in the car, one in the living room, one at your bedside, wherever you can be reminded throughout your day that 24 7 now you are in a Kundalini Awakening practice. This too, just reading the safeties, is a form of Tantra because on those safeties, those words correlate as a combination. Uh, correlate as a gifting of specific knowledge and within that knowledge energy is released and within that that releasing of energy certain forms of energetic activation are happening within the reader okay so just reading the safeties is a form of energetic uh, exchange and that energetic exchange is what tantra is all about thanks for watching